Hey everyone, how's it going? So today I just wanted to mess a bit and actually do an artifact comparison between Gilded and Thundering Fury set. I do currently have a better Thundering Fury set, but I also have... Here, let me show you real quick. So currently this is my Thundering Fury set on Sino. This is like the best one I can make out of this. I, uh, I do have one that's slightly worse though, so I'm going to put that on real quick. And then we're also going to do a Gilded comparison. So real quick, um, leave us this one. Yeah. Okay. So I put this on. So, 233. I feel like I increased something else there. 233. Okay. I'm pretty sure this is going to be close to his gilded build. So let's take a look here. Um. Oh, wait. Actually, I also need to switch this one from... Mm. Okay. Okay. Here, let me go back and show you his other build. What was it? Yeah, Thundering Fury. Okay. So, yeah, we have it on Saw right now. Okay, that was the other piece I needed to switch. Okay, so currently, looking at this, crit damage is about 218, EM 207. So 218 is the main crit damage here, and then let's switch over to Gilded now. And then if we go... Okay, that's better. And we have that one set. And we have this. Okay. 213 right here. So what did I say it was? I think it was 218. So these are pretty similar. Crit rate's a little low, so I might have like some crit rate food or something if it... It's like a very visible difference, but... So... Both of these should be pretty close to each other. I have heard that Gilded is, um, or Thundering Fury is better overall. But I've also heard that they're very similar in stats. So we're going to go back over here to Masanori. We're going to test both of these damages and we're going to see which one, if there's any visible difference or anything. But yeah, overall I heard Thundering Fury definitely has a higher ceiling. But don't, uh, don't focus too much on that because Thundering Fury, Gladiator, and Gilded are all kind of similar. Just basically go for whatever one you have the best stats on. And I don't really have any, like, a perfectly good four-piece Gilded, or, um, Gladiator. So first we're going to try Gilded Dreams, and then I'll switch back over to Thundering Fury, see if there's, like, a noticeable difference. Okay, so let's start this fight. Um... Oh, I missed that. That was a... Oh, that's whatever. Yeah, let me just get my burst back real quick. Oh, that's... Oh, wait a second. <laughs> okay, here's what happened. I'm used to playing Thundering Fury, so I was wondering why my skills weren't lining up at all. Here, we're going to get my burst back really quickly. Then we're going to try on Gilded. And I forgot that Gilded has the 3 second cooldown. Okay. Slight mistake, but you got to see the intro starting damage of everything. Damn, that proc like never happens. Okay. Alright, we're back up. Let's go test it out now. Uh, no, it's here. But yeah, no, so this isn't like an official recommendation or anything. This is just me testing with my stats, seeing what I feel like I prefer. And yeah, so... He's done here. But yeah, if you want like official numbers or anything, there's theory crafters for that. But this is just me messing with stats, pretty similar crit damage, seeing what happens and if there's anything too crazy to notice. Okay, now let's try to do this properly this time. Okay. Okay, so apparently... Oh, and he's already out of the aggravate thing, but... Okay, so it's definitely easier to play this way and not really try and focus on the... 
not focusing right off cooldown and everything. Here, let's get my burst back real quick. And he dodged it, okay. Just give this back and then we'll switch to the other set. Then I'll give my thoughts about this current set as well. Um, let me go heal since I wasn't really paying attention to my health there. But, <clears throat> yeah, so some quick things to notice. I'm pretty used to playing Thundering Fury. So, my first time really messing with uh, the Gilded set. It is definitely easier to pr uh, it's definitely easier to pay attention. And I feel like I might have seen bigger numbers outside of the aggravate reactions. But, you also hit a lot less frequent with his skill. Which is current... I'll show you my talents right now in a sec. But... Um, Overall, I feel like it was still a pretty good set. I think I saw some pretty similar numbers. Because just the raw damage alone without reactions, I think, might have been a little bit higher. But, especially like when the Dendro comes out and everything, I'm pretty sure that there will be better Dendro application. And we don't have our kit fully released or anything. So, um, so we'll see that later. So look at his talents. I have this at 10. I'm going to get this up to 10 as well after I get these. I'm going to farm bosses later on tonight, see if I get the final things I'm missing. But, um... But yeah, so overall this is pretty well invested into the talents, weapons at 90 and everything. So, there's the gilded set. You saw pretty decent damage. Pretty solid. Um, yeah, we can switch back over to the Thundering Fury set now. And I'll, since we kind of saw it both in Aggravate and just raw solo damage, we'll kind of look at both of those here on this one. Um, okay, we're going to Thundering. So I know we keep that, and we keep this. Okay, so 218, so 213, 218. It was pretty similar, you guys can see similar numbers. Uh, the other one did have more EM. But yeah, overall these sets are supposed to be like pretty close in damage. So let's take a look at this one. Okay, so here's the Thundering Fury test. And then you can just go straight into skill. But yeah, okay, so you definitely get your skill more often, you definitely see like higher numbers in aggravate and we got all those bursts back okay we're just so and then we're also going to look at his just solo damage real quickly i mean you can definitely see that in aggravate thundering fury is much better off okay you see pretty close numbers, because like... Yeah, I'd say that's actually quite similar there. But yeah, okay, so that was just the raw damage there, not really worrying about skills or too much reaction or anything. Overall, pretty solid. Um, let's go back over here and I'll just get my burst and... While I talk about that real quick. I just like doing it here because it's easier, but... So... So yeah, overall, I do think it was pretty cool to test out both of these. And I'll give my final thoughts in one second. Okay, I got the burst back. His energy problems aren't too bad as long as you can like rotate Fischl and everything properly. So And I mean this was this was like with a lower Thundering Fury build. Um do what I normally run. Here, so real quick, these are things 82 to 18. Let's switch back to the set that I normally run. Mm, okay. So this is what I've been running recently. Switch back off to... Let's see where it went. Oh, okay, it's this one. Uh, yeah. 
Okay, so this is what I normally run. This is the other flower I was on. And I also switched the sands. Let's see. Okay, so here's my normal stats with it. 79, 241, EM 207. So overall, a pretty solid build. I have really liked playing him with um, with Thundering Fury because I just think it's a lot more fun to be able to spam your skill so much more often. You see that overall the damage increase of just like the raw damage with um, Gilded Set wasn't too far off. So just the raw damage, they're pretty similar, but you saw that the when you were using it with Aggravate and everything, it definitely shot up. So I feel like if you're already farming the Deepwood set, um, this one right here, Deepwood Memories, I feel like this set would be, if you like need to farm this for your other characters and everything, then Gilded is fine if you just want to be resin efficient. But I feel like if you're building like Dendro characters, or if you plan to go for the Archon as a support and anything, I definitely feel like you should lean more into Thundering Fury because you just, you just play him in Aggravate if you want to get like the most out of his kit and everything. So definitely overall, I would recommend Thundering Fury. I just, has a higher damage uh, damage ceiling, you could use the ease more often. But yeah, so no official numbers or anything, but that's just what I personally feel. Kind of what I was expecting. This is my first time actually using the Gilded set on him. That's why I was messing up the skills at first. But yeah, still getting his rotations down. Um, thank thank you to those of you in the last video who told me how to better proc the, the C2 release right there with the normal text before burst and everything. So that was helpful. Um, yeah, I'm still getting used to all the rotations, practicing it, so still working out. But just like first opinions, I'd say that go for Thundering if you're fine either way. Or if you don't even really want to farm for that, there's also the strong box you can go for, which is honestly like a great tool. I used that to get a couple of the pieces I needed, so I don't, I have a few things. Let's see if we, um, oh, we don't really need it. Let's see. Uh, okay, I'll save it for now. We'll take this off. Like, I mean, it's not insane or anything, but not bad. And it's like, these artifacts already weren't really going to go into anything else. So, like, these are fine just kind of throwing away. But it's like, I just recommend throwing them into this strong box here. I don't really need any more right now, so I'm not going to do more of this. But overall, I'd say you can just farm, like, another set you need. I don't know, like, um, like the Raiden set, Emblem of Severed Fates, or the new set with Gilded or anything that you want. And then just throw it into Thundering Fury, but overall, I think the end goal should definitely be Thundering Fury. And like, once again, <laughs> again, like once I, uh, what I said before, the Archon might have really good Dendro application. Because like, as of now, all the Archons and stuff we already have, have just been like insane in their respective roles. And I don't really think that there's too great of a Dendro uh, applier right now. And like, main character is pretty good, but main character's kind of always just been like the weaker version of the Archons mostly. So... If that's the case, and he's already doing pretty solid, just think of what's going to happen when he finally gets um, Kusanali and everything leveled up. Yeah, this is just placeholder set I've got on him. Nothing too insane. He's like, I don't even have any talents invested in him. See, literally, I just recommend getting him to like 70 and building him with the, like some ER. There's 209. Like, these aren't even fully leveled up. And I think that's good enough. And then Fischl's pretty good battery. This to resist interruption. Then his team's pretty set in stone right now, but when Kusanali comes out, or Nahida, whatever you want to call her, just switch out Traveler with her, and then you'll also be able to see this much better if, as long as her Dendro application stays on long enough. Because, like, no character really has buffs long enough to last Sinus whole on field time. But overall, yeah, this seems like it's going to be the better long-term investment and just better set in general. <coughs> but, yeah. And also another recommendation I was thinking of is instead of Zhongli, if you do have... Diona, I was thinking about trying this because if you do get her to C6, you see like she has like all the speed buffs and everything. She heals, she shields, kind of whole thing here. And then you also see this right here. So Elemental Mastery increases by 200 when HP is above 50. And the burst, you see right here, duration 12 seconds. So it's not the full time of Sinos, but it's longer than a lot of other like EM buffs, like especially Kazuha, because you look at Kazuha C2 increases 200 as well as the c6 diana but right here duration eight seconds which is like i don't know and the thing is that um he definitely will buff your damage but it's only for like a short period of time and you have a lot of time where you're just kind of spam clicking with sino and it's kind of just like a waste of time really so diana lasts a bit longer so that's why i would probably recommend her a bit and like you can replace there and the cryo won't interrupt the dendro reactions because cryo and dendro don't interact so 
you can give that a shot. I personally just use Zhongli because it's more comfortable, easier to play right now. Um, but yeah, those are my final thoughts right now. And I hope that you all enjoyed. So thank you for watching and have a great day. See ya.